Uh-oh. Here we go. Premier League predictions. I'm not sure if people are going to enjoy this one so much because it's so controversial. But anyway, we are going to be looking at the best performing players from last season's Premier League season and predicting their ratings for FIFA 23. Oh, God. There are some in here that I found so difficult to try and justify. There's probably a couple wrong when I look back at this. But hey, look, guys, it's just a bit of fun. It is my opinion, but please do leave your comments down below. Tell me which players you thought I got wrong, what rating you would give them, but please keep it clean, keep it nice. It is just a bit of fun. So I've done every position. We're going to start in goal. And if I could click here, there we go. So Alisson, 89 rated at the start of FIFA 22. And I think that is a very fair rating. I don't think he's necessarily improved and he definitely hasn't got much worse. So I've gone with another 89 rating. I think that's about right. And look, I'm not going to lie to you, the defensive ratings were quite easy. I think actually a lot of the players haven't improved too much and they haven't got worse. So it's the same with Edison. Um, why has he got a Liverpool badge? What's going on there? <laughs> I think I've accidentally given, given him a Liverpool badge. I don't know how that's happened. Um, 89 rated, got a big transfer to Man City. I've given him an 89 rating as well because none of them, I think, are better than the other goalkeeper. They just do very different things. I think Edison is way better for Man City and Alisson is way better for Liverpool. They suit their teams perfectly and I think 89 rated is fair. I mean, technically, you could justify giving them both a 90, but what I would say is they both have to be the same rating, whether it's 89 or 90. Um, they should always be the same. For now, anyway, we'll see what happens this season. I am going to make a prediction that Edison is going to have a better season than Alisson. Moving on to right back, we have Trent. Bit of a difficult one, Trent, because I think what we see with him is, well, a lot of people would, would say his defending is poor. And whilst I don't disagree with that, I don't think his defending is poor, though. I just don't think it's as good as his attack. Um, a lot of people would say that because he's a right back and because he's not very good at defending or so good at defending, then his rating should come down. But I've gone ahead and just kept him at 87 because he is still so vital to that Liverpool side and the crossing ability. I honestly believe, right, if 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 Chelsea, not Chelsea, if Liverpool played a back three like Chelsea do and Trent was played as a right wing back, I'm telling you, okay, when he's got less defensive responsibilities and more ability to just cross the ball in, it could be a lot better for his career. Um, I don't think Liverpool will ever do that, though. I think they like the four at the back. But the other option is to move him into midfield. I think he could do very well there. Up next, we've got Reese James, certainly one of the best players last season for Chelsea. Um, this pitch is just hilarious. He looks nothing like that now. He's changed his haircut. He's gone short. 81 rated right wing back. Funnily enough, he's definitely more of a right back slash centre back than he is a right wing back. But he's so good going forward. For me, in my Premier League team, I'd be going with Reese James ahead of Trent. That's just me. I've given him an 84 rating for FIFA 23. I think he's going to get a three upgrade. It could be 83, but then again, it's EA. It could be 85. They uh, don't necessarily get everything right, and neither do I. But I'm going to go with an 84 because I think that's about fair. He, he is that good. Then next, we've got Kyle Walker, 85 rated. I think that's a bit harsh, to be fair. Um, some games, I think he makes interesting decisions. Uh, but there's no doubt in my mind, he's probably the quickest player in the Premier League or one of the quickest players. And because of that pace and the the physical side to his game, he is just, he's he's unbeatable at times, uh, unless you're St. Maximin. 86 rating is what I have given him for FIFA 23. Moving on over to the centre-backs role now, we've got Ruben Diaz. I don't necessarily think he was the best centre-back last year, but he's one of the highest rated in the game. So I wanted to you know, have a look at him for this video. I've kept him at 87. I don't think he necessarily improved enough to be 88, but I don't think he got worse. So an 87, it seems about fair to me. Would you guys say anything different? Then next we have Thiago Silva, 85 rated, and it's a similar story, really. I've just kept him at 85 because, again, I don't really think he has justified an improvement. But then again, if you think you look at some of the other ratings in the Premier League, maybe 86 should be fair anyway. So I guess, yeah, maybe looking back, maybe I could have given him an 86, but I think he'll stay the same. He had a great season though. And then we have 
Van Dijk, such a debatable player right now. He has had a terrible start to the season with Liverpool, but it's Van Dijk. At his best, there aren't many better centre-backs in history, let alone right now. Um, I love Van Dijk. He goes into any Premier League team. He goes into any team in the world and improves their defence. But uh, for FIFA 23, I don't think he's going to go up to 90. I think he was 90 in the year before, was he not? Um, I think 89 is fair. He's come back from a, a horrible injury last year. Um, and he's done pretty well. He played 34 times, I think it was, last season after such a long injury. So fair play to the guy. But you could argue a downgrade, potentially, maybe. Wasn't his best season, and so far this season, he needs to uh, get back to his best. Next set of back we're going to talk about... Oh, no, never mind, sorry. We're going to left backs now. We've got Robertson, and that picture just made me laugh. I mean, look at it. <laughs> These are the official pictures they used at the beginning of FIFA 22, by the way. They might have updated a few of them, but uh, left back, 87 rated. Again, I just thought that was fair enough. No need to change him. 87 rated again. Don't think he had a particularly fantastic season and I don't think he had a bad season. I just think in general, most of the defenders we've gone through so far had just another consistent season at a consistent level. Then up next, we have Cancelo, who, yes, is a right back in FIFA 22, but no doubt he will get a position change. Although in the new FIFA 23 in Ultimate Team, you can change player positions now. Every player will have two to three other positions they can play and you can just swap them out, which is really cool. Uh, Cancelo will be moved back to right back by a lot of players, I'm guessing, but I've upgraded him to 88 rated. You can't, you can't tell me there's a better left back in world football right now than Cancelo and he's not even a left back. He's a right back playing at left back. Unbelievable season. 88 rated, two upgrade. I think so. What a signing that was. I think Juventus really messed up with that one. Anyway, we're going to move into midfield now. This is, oh, I'm going to get hate for this one because I love Kante and I know Chelsea fans probably will hate me. Although I've been seeing a lot of Chelsea fans saying Kante just isn't the same at the moment. He had a poor season and struggling for form. I've given him an 88. Oh, is, that, is that too harsh? Maybe an 89. He is one of the best defensive midfielders the Premier League has seen in recent times. He is unreal. Does the job of two players, but... Is he 89? Is he 90? No. No, no. Not at the moment, he's not. I think maybe 89 would be a bit more fair, but I've gone with 88, and that's purely because of the next players I'm going to talk about. We've got Fabinho, who is not 86. If anything, I, I think I could justify giving him a plus two, but I think he's going to get an 87. I think it's going to be a small upgrade, but I really rate Fabinho. For me, Fabinho and Kante, it's very difficult to, to really pick a winner there. And then up next, we've got Rodri, who probably had the best season in Man City colours, and he was the best holding midfielder in the Premier League last season. I've gone ahead and upgraded him to 88. I think it's deserved. And if you don't agree with me, that's fine. I think he is one of the most underrated players in that City side. Without him, they don't look half as good. Uh, they do have Calvin Phillips coming in. Maybe he will help with a little bit of uh, backup, a little bit of squad rotation there. But Rodri is vital, so a two upgrade for him. We're going to move over to a bit more of an advanced position now. We've got Kevin De Bruyne, central midfielders now. For me, there is no better central midfielder in the world right now. I think if you if you put experience, technical ability, goals, assists, even defensively, there isn't a more well-rounded player. I think Modric is up there still. Even at his age, he's still remarkably good. Um, who else is maybe up there? Thiago for Liverpool, probably not. It's difficult, isn't it? There, there isn't many. There isn't many. And that is why he still deserves to be the highest rated centre mid in the game. You could potentially justify an upgrade, uh, but I don't know if he was better last season than he has been the season or the season before. I don't think there's actually much of a jump. It's just, if anything, other midfielders have not grown as well or done as well. So De Bruyne, staying 91. Maybe he could go up, but he is the best midfielder in the world. And for me, when he's playing at his absolute best, he's the best football player on the planet. I think him, Messi, because um, I, I, oh, I don't know why I'm bringing this up now, but for me, Ronaldo isn't as technically gifted as a Messi or someone like that, but De Bruyne, oh, mwah, such a technically gifted player. Just the ball is glued to his feet. Up next, we've got Bruno. 
Yeah, I think uh, we all know where this is going. Had a fantastic season and then Ronaldo joined and just, I mean, his goals dried up, his assists dried up. I think Ronaldo actually made Bruno a worse player. For me, in the season which got him this 88 rating, he was one of the best attacking midfielders in the world. Say goodbye to the 88 rating. He's getting reduced. He's getting lowered down to an 87, I reckon. He's still a fantastic player. And I think him and Ronaldo can play, but I, I don't think they will. I think one of them has to be dropped in that team. I don't know what it is. I would be playing Bruno. I think Ronaldo should leave Manchester United. It clearly just isn't clicking, but who knows what's going to happen there. But I think a downgrade for Bruno is in order. And then we have Bernardo Silva, who's going to go in the opposite direction. If anything, you could go again with a two upgrade. But I, I think 86 is just unfair. He's always been an 87, at least. So I've given him an 87, but I think there is potential he could be 88. Will he be at Man City in the next week, though? The window shuts in a week. Will he end up at Barcelona? I don't think so. Surely they can't afford that as well. Next, we go over to the right side. We have Mo Salah. This was a tricky one because he was still incredible last season. The, the start of the 21-22 season, he was <sighs> unbelievable. And then he did he did kind of had a bit of a, a slower period, but there's no doubt in my mind, he is the best right winger, maybe the best winger in world football right now. Um, Neymar right at this second is also doing very well and Hugh Minson, who we're going to get on to. But Salah deserves an upgrade. It, for me, it was just, is it 90 or is it 91? Now, I went with 90, but already I'm starting to think, well, if De Bruyne's 91 as a centre mid, I think Salah probably should be a 91. So this is a really debatable one, but I think he's going to get a 90. I think so, but he could be a 91. Also on the right side, we have Mares, unbelievable player, one of the most technically gifted players in the Premier League, but not as prolific as a Salah, a Son, someone like that. He will get an upgrade, and I think 87 would be more than fair. What a left foot, unbelievable. Then we have over on the left side, Sterling was 88 rated last season, of course, at Man City. He's now got his last big move of his career potentially he's going to stay at Chelsea for a while who knows he's just moved there and I do think he is going to get a downgrade I don't think 88 is a bad rating for Sterling even now but he didn't have the best season ever he he played more than he seems to think he, he, he talks about how he wasn't getting played last season but he played more than most players at Man City uh, but didn't have his best year and I don't I don't think he's necessarily better than Mares. so same rating. Is he overrated, Sterling? Let me know. And then we have Human Son. Um, <laughs> I'm an Arsenal fan. I'm going to be very fair here. Oh, this this is another thing about Salah. Maybe Salah should be 91 because I gave Son 90. Is Son as good as Salah? That's the debate, I guess. Maybe Salah should be 91 and Son should be 90 because for me, Son should get an upgrade. He is one of the best left wingers in the world, and I'm so freaking jealous. I hate you, Tottenham. And then moving on to Harry Kane. Once again, I think an upgrade is coming. I don't necessarily agree with it, but it's a prediction for what's going to happen in the new game. And I think he is still better than Son at what he does. Oh, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Either way, I've given him a 91. Yeah. Is, is he better than Salah? Oh, I think I've had a bit of a stinker here. Harry Kane's a 90. Just ignore that. And then we have Ronaldo, 91 rated last season. There's no way he's going to get an upgrade. And I don't think he's going to hold on to that 91 rating. I think him and Messi, they're both going to have downgrades this season. And I've given Ronaldo a 90. Do you disagree with any of these guys? Let me know in the comments down below. Just put what player you want to talk about and then the rating you would give but most importantly why I've tried my best to explain some of these I, I do think maybe I should have given Salah a 91 and maybe Kane's a 90 um, but it, it's it's a really tough debate to have you know a lot of these players um, have had consistent seasons for so long now it's very difficult to justify a downgrade but also a consistent season doesn't mean they've improved. So do you give them an upgrade? It, it is a very tough one and I wouldn't want to be on the EA team deciding ratings. I could do Arsenal. I know a lot about the Arsenal players, but I don't know about 
all of the others. But still, it's it's a lot of fun to do this. I'm going to do more. So let me know what you'd like to see next time. Maybe the biggest downgrades in the Premier League. That could be a lot of fun. And I will see you next time.